I don't care about these betting odds, but I think having it on the screen right now is a good segue into what we're talking about. And Josh Giddy's going to be traded. He's extension eligible this offseason going to the final year of his rookie deal. Next year, he'll be a restricted free agent if he isn't extended. And he's on a team where the general manager loves Sam. You know, Sam Presti loves Josh Giddy. And Mark Dagnall, he likes Josh Giddy, but he doesn't fit Dagnall's scheme. And he's a point guard who's been forced to play out of position. And if you guys remember coming out of the draft, this guy was basically a guy who could easily average like 15, 6, and 6. Or even like, he lasted the other year, he was all, you know, like an 18 point per game scorer. And the stretches were the three point shots there. And he's one of the most creative passers we've seen. For me, I'm not, I personally, I'm not going to say why, but my intuition would suggest that a team like the Spurs, specifically the Spurs, are the favorites, in my opinion, to land him. As the Spurs don't want to mortgage the future on a veteran right now. They want someone to grow with the team. And the idea of having Josh Giddy, Dem Vassell, Kelvin Johnson, Jeremy Soham, Victor Wembanyama, Trey Jones, like as a rotation right there, especially, I mean, you throw in Zach Collins right there. That's seven quality dudes. And still, you got to bring in another guard, but they would probably be able to get a guy like Josh Giddy for what would be maybe potentially cheaper than what people would think. So Josh Giddy, his contract this upcoming offseason would be $8.3 million. Neither team, I mean, they can just eat it. So A, they could just send the, they could outbid anybody in terms, I mean, I, there are some, a few teams that could probably equally bid them, but they would be able to bid the the best deal, offer the best deal probably to the Thunder in terms of draft picks. And for them, the other thing is, is, they could also tell him, oh, take Devontae Graham, who only has $2.8 million guaranteed, so you'd cut him, and you basically would save $10 million on your cap roll. Same idea with if they trade Julian Champagne or Charles Bassey. And for them, the, the Thunder are always a team that, you know, if they have somebody on this roster that they like, like a Malachi Branham, Julian Champagne, a Blake Wesley, a Charles Bassey, a C.D. Sissoko, they could basically be like, hey, you mind sending that? Or even they could ask for Zach Collins if they want another big on the roster. They're like, hey, Zach kind of fits our, the backup big man we want. And because you've already paid him, we don't really, you know, we kind of see it like, oh, the contracts aren't here yet. It's just a good use of salary space for the interim. But the other teams, I don't think, I'm a Wizards fan. I don't think the Wizards are going to run, are going to go get Josh Giddy because we ended the season running Jordan Poole at point guard, and he was putting up like eight or like eight assists a game. And we, still, I think we're going to keep Tyus Jones, like lock him up and then trade him down the road. So I could see the Utah Jazz, Danny Ainge would like that stuff. The New York Knicks, I think Leon Rose is always looking for a bargain move and looking to improve, and that's the type of guy he would go out and get. The Pelicans already have Dyson Daniels. And I personally think that would be kind of a lateral move. You would just get a guy similar to Dyson Daniels. And Dyson's a better defender. But, you know, kind of an all-around guy. Jack-of-all-trades guy who has an iffy jumper. But the whole thing is with a contract that's coming up sooner than Daniels. So that's... And they're both Australian. So I think I, I don't see the Pelicans doing that. Orlando, I feel like they would have to strike out on everybody that they had targeting free agency to go do this. Pistons, I just don't see. That'd be creating a log jam down there. Phoenix, that that would be like the bargain move that if they traded like Naz Little and whatever else they could offer draft compensation or player-wise. I just don't see the Lakers, the Raptors, the Blazers, the Mavs, the Cavs, the Celtics going for this maybe pat riley looks at him and he's like that's our point guard but 
I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Where do you think Giddy goes? But yeah, I, I really think it's San Antonio. And if it's not that, I really just think the Jazz and the Knicks are the most realistic. But who knows? 